Hi and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours in HUD homes in and around the San Antonio area. If you're watching this on HUDKing.com, click on the bird to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or click on the YouTube link to be taken to our YouTube page. While you're at our YouTube page, if you click on the subscribe button, you'll be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here at 9231 Pitcairn. That's 9231 Pitcairn over in Woods End, which is off of Bandera Road in Braun, kind of the northwest side of town. It's a very nice three bedroom, two bath home. Approximately 1,906 square feet, built in 1980. Home sits on about a 9,500 square foot lot, and it is about $13,000 underneath the county appraisal. It's actually the least expensive home in this neighborhood and there is actually nothing for sale in this small pocket of homes right now. Exterior of this home is a combination of wood siding and brick. It sort of sits at a turn of a street here, so you have a little bit of a smaller front yard but a larger backyard. Exterior-wise in decent shape, you know, you may want to power wash it to get rid of a little bit of this exterior mildew, but that's pretty minor. Let's take a look at the backyard and then the inside. Well, we step into the backyard from a sliding glass door off of the dining room and the kitchen, and as you can see, it has a very nice covered back patio here. Being that it's at the turn of a street, you do have kind of an irregular shaped lot, but it is a decent sized lot. Most residential lots are anywhere from about five to 7,000 square feet. This one, as I said, is over 9,000 square feet. And exterior-wise, really in decent condition. It could use a fresh coat of paint if you wanted to really spruce it up, but I don't think it's something that it needs, only if you wanna really customize the home, make it look just the way that you want. There is a tiny bit of wood rot, as you see, or as I'll point out here, along this covered patio, but it's pretty minor and that stuff's very, relatively easy to replace. Could even probably do it yourself without the aid of a handyman. And a little bit of wood rot there. So let's take a look at the inside. Well, we step into the home immediately to the right. We have a formal, I guess it could be a formal living or a formal dining, probably realistically a formal living room. It's going to need flooring. In the entryway, we have a pretty neutral ceramic tile. If we continue in, we have our main living room. Bit of a vaulted ceiling. This room will need, a carp will need carpeting and painting. And you can see it's probably gonna need a thermostat. Someone remove the thermostat. I do like how it has a fireplace. I think fireplaces are really nice. You have some windows that could be cleaned. Your sliding glass door that takes you to the backyard. Your dining area here. So this is where you'll have your table. And then we come over to your kitchen. Now the kitchen has a decent amount of countertop space and cabinet space. A few of the drawers are damaged or missing, so you may want to just completely redo the cabinets. It is missing the oven range and dishwasher. And then we have a door that takes us into a, another room up here. So this could potentially be your formal dining. It's a little odd because what I think you should consider doing is maybe opening up this wall. If we open up this wall here, it takes you into that other room. So for some reason it's closed and this room is, it's kind of odd, but I think you could do a lot with it. If we continue through, we have bedroom number one downstairs, which is also going to double over as your master bedroom. Now this has a bit of a unique layout. You have a sliding glass door that takes you outside. You have your master walk-in closet here and then additional storage over here, which is kind of neat. And then what's interesting about the master bedroom, it's gonna be a little bit dark. You actually have, this is your master bath. Now the master bath, bathroom number one, is also going to be used by the common area. So you don't have a private master. It's kind of dark in there, guys, sorry. It's a shower and tub combo. You have a single vanity in here. It has ceramic tile on the floor. And actually, I think I have a flashlight, so maybe I can illuminate that bathroom for you. Let's see here. So here's the master bath, shower and tub combo, ceramic tile. And now this bathroom does close off from the master bedroom. You have a door here. We have your indoor utility, your washer and dryer connections, and then we have access into your garage through this door here. Pretty standard garage, two car garage, pretty decent shape. If you come in from the garage, you have your washer and dryer connections here. We then go upstairs to the other bedrooms. You will need to replace the carpet and fix a little bit of sheetrock damage here. Looks like they may have had some kind of a, an issue behind this wall. This is bedroom number two. 
bedroom number two. It's a good sized bedroom. And it looks like they did something to the wall here. I'm not sure exactly what they did, but relatively new sheetrock. So you have to customize that. Right next to that we have bedroom number, or a little, actually a small little living area here. Needs carpeting and painting. And then bedroom number three. Bedroom number three will need a fresh coat of paint and some flooring. And then we have bathroom number two, right across from those two bedrooms. Bathroom number two, similar layout, long vanity, and a shower and tub combo. As a matter of fact, it looks almost identical to the master bedroom, if you remember how that looked. So that's about it. The home, as I said, is under the county appraisal. It's the only home in this little community that is on the market for sale right now. Needs a little bit of painting, a little bit of flooring. Let me give you a summary. Well, there you have it, 9231 Pitcairn. That's 9231 Pitcairn, a very nice three-bedroom, two-bath home. As I said, this home is about $13,000 underneath the county appraisal. All it really needs is a little bit of flooring, a little bit of painting, maybe a tiny bit of trim or sheetrock work, and you're ready to move into it. It is the only home available right now today in that current neighborhood, and it's one of the least expensive homes in that whole area. So this home is listed right now for only $135,000. So if you're interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I would love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210 706 0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King and I want to help you find your castle.